Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists. This one is titled, uh, The Book of Ecclesiastes, a Verse-by-Verse -verse Commentary. So this is also a verse-by-verse -verse teaching, going through the Book of Ecclesiastes a verse at a time and commenting, giving you my thoughts, what I think of it and what I, what I learned from it. Um, of course, Ecclesiastes was also written by King Solomon, who also wrote the book of Proverbs, who was also renowned for his wisdom. And in the book of Proverbs, he, the point was to pass his wisdom on to his son, so you would think that the person who is so wise and, and uh, renowned for his wisdom, considered to be the wisest man in the world, uh, that um, the book of Ecclesiastes is in a way a, a surprise uh, be, because he should not have had to learn the hard way. You know, it, it talks about in the book of Proverbs, how a wise man has many counselors. You, you instead of learning uh, from your own experience, you should learn from other people's experiences, from from your teachers and counselor, counselors. Let them pass it, that knowledge on to you, so you don't have to make the mistakes that have made been made over and over again uh, through history. Um, these, these are some of the lessons he taught us in Proverbs, and yet he seems to have failed himself at uh, applying it. Um, the, the basic point of the book of Ecclesiastes uh, is that Solomon, um, he wanted contentment, but he, he, he couldn't get contentment. There's something was missing in his life and it nagged at him and uh, it was uh, very, very grievous because he, he was so successful in so many ways. I believe he was the richest man in the world. He was recognized as the wisest man in the world. He's uh, famous for all his material uh, wealth, and, uh, and yet, uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, point by point, uh, wealth, fame, all the things that he sought and gained couldn't satisfy him. And there's a line that, uh, probably the most famous line in the book of Ecclesiastes is that all is vanity. Vanity means that it's, it's, it's useless. It really is meaningless. It means it, it, it really has no value. You can become the richest man in the world, the wisest man, the most famous man, and, and, and yet, what have you gained if you do not have the one thing that matters? And that's the point of the book of Ecclesiastes. What really matters? What is needed for each of us to have contentment and not feel that this is just a wasted life and it's all in vain? The one thing was uh, the relationship with God that we were made, we were created to have. So I, I hope you will watch this uh, teaching on Ecclesiastes. It's uh, very interesting. It's uh, um, 11 videos. Uh, the videos range between like 30 minutes to an hour, most of them. Uh, but I, I found it very, very interesting and uh, it made me really think a lot about uh, how could this be? Uh, Solomon, who uh, painstakingly teaches us all these things to, in order to be wise, and yet he wasn't wise enough to follow his own advice. All right, uh, please watch it and comment 
and bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.